Health Watch is presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. Here, caring for you. Welcome to Health Watch, presented by UMass Memorial Healthcare. I'm Brittany Schaefer. Today, we're going to talk about the effects aging has on our eyes. Typically, when we get older, our vision our vision gets a little worse. Um, sometimes you find you need to wear glasses, and especially for up close. Um, sometimes, even with the best glasses, the vision is still not as sharp as when we were younger. Um, and the color vision becomes less vivid than before. Uh, we may have uh, annoying floaters. Um, the eyes can get uncomfortable, um, having redness, pain, irritation, and sometimes tear up. These can all happen with age. What are some of the most common eye conditions that affect the aging population? Most common one is actually presbyopia. It just means uh, you need reading glasses. Uh, people, uh, once they hit 40 years of age, may start noticing things up close are less clear and uh, arms are not long enough to, to see materials. Um, and that's, that is caused by the lens in our eye being less elastic with age. It becomes a little more rigid and when that happens, the lens is less able to focus um, the light to the retina. Mm. Um, but fortunately, uh, you just need reading glasses or progressive lenses or bifocals, depending on what you need. So that's one of the issues with aging. Uh, another common one is a dry eye. Uh, that can cause people to have um, intermittent blurred vision. Uh, your eyes are not comfortable. Sometimes you actually tear up. Um, that is all because the, the tear evaporates quickly from the surface of the eye. Mm. And your body senses that your surface, eye surface is actually quite dry and produces excess tear, making you tear up. Uh, you may have foreign body sensation, burning, um, all those things, um, uncomfortable sensations. So that's dry eye, happened with, often with age, and interestingly also uh, more prevalent in women. Another very common uh, age-related eye condition is cataract. And that's caused by the natural lens in the eye becoming more and more cloudy with age. Um, imagine you look through a dirty window glass, you will not be able to see clearly, no matter how, how good your glasses are. Um, there are other things less common, does not happen to everyone, but can happen especially with the elderly. Uh, one is called age-related macular degeneration. Uh, and the macula is a critical structure on the retina that's uh, responsible for central vision. So if that part of the eye becomes damaged or degenerated by aging, or as a process of aging, and then the central vision goes, so you will not be able to see fine details, no matter distance or near. Um, so that, that can be one thing that happens with age. Another common, uh, although not happening to everyone, um, condition is uh, glaucoma. And this is a very insidious uh, disease because uh, people don't typically have symptoms at all in the beginning. Um, and with glaucoma, a critical structure of the eye called optic nerve. Um, this optic nerve is um, the cable connecting the information from the retina to the brain. So all the visual information we get from the outside world eventually goes through this cable to the brain. And when this nerve is damaged, then the vision becomes less. The visual field is reduced. Eventually, central vision can also get reduced. Are any of these conditions treatable? Yes, most of these conditions are treatable. Uh, with the presbyopia, we mentioned that you just need to wear reading glasses. Um, dry eye, uh, first line of treatment, typically include using artificial tears. These are available over the counter. You can do all, also do warm compress to the eyelids. Uh, this helps to um, increase the tear quality. Uh, so warm compress, artificial tears, these are uh, like routine uh, measurements people can do at home uh, to prevent the dry eye and the dry eye complications. Uh, if these fail, then uh, your eye doctor can prescribe more medicated drops or procedures to uh, retain the tear on the surface of the eye longer. Um, there are other, um, also other treatments as well. For glaucoma, the uh, sorry, for cataract, the treatment is surgery. Uh, so your cloudy human lens is going to be removed and replaced by a clear artificial lens. This is a model of an eyeball. Um, you can see in the front, the clear part here. This is the cornea. The cornea is the clear medium that light hits uh, first. And in dry disease, the cornea can become cloudy and certainly will, will become uncomfortable if you do have dry eye. Uh, next, the light will go through the pupil, which is the hole in here, and uh, through uh, this part. This is the lens. 
and cataract can affect this lens and make it cloudy. And when that happens, you will not get clear vision. Uh, next, the light will go through this part. This is the vitreous or the jelly, the big jelly part in the eyeball. It's very large. And you would have floaters in here if uh, clumps form here and there, or if the entire jelly goes uh, forward. And uh, next, the orange part you see here is the retina. The retina have uh, retinal blood vessels, as you can see, um, these um, red and blue lines. Uh, the macula is this tiny piece, tiny yellow dot right here. That's where our central vision is. In age-related macular degeneration, this structure is compromised. And lastly, uh, this yellow cable, that's the optic nerve. And you can see uh, this optic nerve actually extends and, uh, into the brain. If you can imagine, there's the brain behind the eyeball. Uh, and glaucoma can affect the optic nerve, this structure uh, that's so critical to our vision. How frequently should an elderly person have their vision checked? That is a very good question. Uh, I recommend that uh, people over 50 years of age have uh, one routine eye exam once every year, even without any overt symptoms or even if everything is stable. The reason is that there are a number of eye conditions that do not show symptoms in the beginning. Uh, however, catching the problem early is going to be really important for preserving vision. For example, glaucoma we mentioned, and age-related macular degeneration as well. Before you lose your vision, sometimes doctors can already see changes happening in the macula. And uh, in turn, you can do, um, do um, uh, things to prevent uh, this from going further. What are some telltale signs that someone has cataracts or glaucoma? For cataract, uh, people would start noticing vision is blurred. Sometimes they think their vision is dim, uh, the color becomes less vivid than before. And you can notice uh, halos and glare at night. When you're driving at night, the headlights from the other cars just become unbearable. So these are all signs of um, uh, cataract. Is there an age when an older person should stop wearing contacts? So there is not an age limit uh, just based on age. Um, however, contact, contact lens wear is limited by uh, the person's ability to insert, remove, and take care of the contact lenses. If they're able to do so, and their eye health is good, their ocular surface is healthy without um, significant dry and other issues, then there's no reason they have to stop contact lens just based on their age. What are floaters? Floaters are caused by uh, the vitreous forming clumps within. The vitreous is the jelly part inside our eyeball. When we are first born, this uh, jelly is one piece solid. With time, it forms uh, strands of fibers here and there. So you start noticing these small floaters uh, throughout the throughout, uh, aging uh, process. But eventually, uh, the whole jelly part prolapses, so it detaches, uh, stays away from the retina. And you, when that happens, you would notice a big floater. Um, this is a natural, uh, common, and I would even say normal aging process, much like cataract. Um, there's nothing wrong in, in itself, and people typically would ignore our brain will be able to adapt to seeing this floater all the time mm. uh, after a few months. Uh, sometimes even it, take a, it may take a year. However, what can be dangerous when this happens is that um, if when the gel goes forward, it drags a piece of retina with it, mm. then you can create a retinal tear or hole or even retinal detachment. So I would recommend that people who notice sudden floaters, or if you notice new floaters, a whole bunch of black spots, uh, please go immediately visit your eye doctor, have an evaluation of the retina, and make sure there's no, uh, no tear or hole or detachment mm. of the retina.